Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2019 Volkswagen Tiguan SE. This particular one is in cardinal red metallic with a storm gray interior which is essentially a two-tone interior. Uh, this is an all-wheel drive version. It has alloy wheels, push button start, keyless entry, LED running lights, halogen headlights, blind spot monitoring, emergency braking up front, that's autonomous emergency braking, and then also rear cross, cross traffic alert in the rear. LED tail lights, a manual lift gate, and you have chrome treatments along the uh, exhaust tips there. Black roof rails, chrome accents around the windows, and as you look at that nice bold line down the side of the car, and nice the new design for uh, the Tiguan that came out in 2018 is continued nice bold looking uh, lines on this car let's take a look inside here's a look at your storm gray interior it's black in places it needs to be to cut down on marks and scuffs you have lumbar support right here forward and back button right here in the middle and then uh, the back button is also your seat back. Again, there's a look at that storm gray interior with black accents. Storm gray inset right there on the door. And then black carpet. Here's a look at your instrument cluster. Regular Volkswagen instrument cluster right there with the customizable triangle, or I'm sorry, rectangle in the middle there. I don't know my shapes all of a sudden. So you can actually customize what shows up there miles to empty, oil temperature, speed, speed warning, etc. You can also change by going left or right using this little, these little tabs here, these silver tabs. You can change to get to your driver assistance systems. Uh, you can also change to get to um, music or telephone. So with audio, it tells you what station you're listening to there. You can actually change radio stations as well. And then the assist systems are blind spot monitoring, uh, rear traffic alert, and front assist. I already went over those, but there you go. You got proof right there. And those people go with the driving data setup, where you put this in the middle right here. This has automatic headlights, power door locks, heated mirrors, power mirrors, and one touch up, one touch down on the windows, as well as a window lock right here. It does have a manual lift gate, so there's an absence of a button down there for that. Coin box for storage right here. You have this adjustable steering wheel lever right here, so you have a telescoping steering wheel. You can pull it out, raise it, lower it, knock it, lock it back in any way you want there. Here's a look at the dash. Aluminum accents across the dash here. And then you have your MIB touchscreen radio right here. There's a nice little storage tray up here. And the line continues across from here, down into here, and then down. It's very thought out, the way they made the lines continue. And it goes down into the radio, and then goes down into the climate control, and down below here. So with this radio, you have AM, FM, and satellite. Uh, you also have a CD player, which is cleverly hidden in, in the uh, glove box right here. So you also have an SD card reader right there, and an SD card holder right there. Heated seats up front, dual climate zone up front. Um, you also have a way to make the uh, climate control show up on the touch screen up top by hitting the menu button down here. Uh, they show up here, you touch the yellow, I'm sorry, the blue side to go cooler and the, uh, the red side to go warmer. So that's pretty nice. You also have a sync button there and also an off system right there. Heated seats are going to be nice. Nice about these vent controls is there's a combination of these that you can use. You don't have to just use one or the other. Um, and then you also have the recirculated air versus outside air. I'll go ahead and turn that off. Now you do have dual USBs right here. One and two. And then you also have an auxiliary port as well as a 12 volt charger port right there. Push button starters right here. Electronic parking brake here. And then here's your drive modes uh, button right here. You can push down on this and it changes your display here. So you have Eco, Normal, Sport, or Custom. With custom, you're allowed to tweak steering, drive system, or climate control. 
by turning the same knob to off-road or off-road custom off-road custom I'm allowed to change steering drive system all-wheel drive climate control I can change settings there at will pretty nice so I'm going to turn this knob back to the regular roadway there and that brings you back to this home screen where you can do eco normal or custom not only can you touch the button down there but you can touch them on the screen and change them most people are going to drive in sport mode that gives you the best acceleration best performance for the car itself uh, let's see here you do have two vanity mirrors with a light above each one on each side here and then you also have sunglass storage right here now you lose that sunglass storage if you add the optional sunroof. This one doesn't have a sunroof, but you can add a panoramic sunroof to this car. It adds $1,200 to the car, and you lose out on this here because that's where all your sunroof controls are. Uh, that's where your dome lights and all of that stuff, the buttons for those are. Um, the second row um, with the sunroof will have dome lights off on the side as well. In this one, they're right there. You can't see them there, but they're right there. Let's take a look at the second row. Now this car does come at 29720 on this one. You can get these with a third row. This one has it. There's a look at that third row seat with it in the up position. There's a little lever right here on the side you lift up on and this seat will tilt forward and you can also push it forward as well. And then also in the middle right here, there's this button up here where you can actually fold the seat down and you have a pass through right there. Take a look at this second row. Sitting in this second row, I do have still a pretty good amount of legroom, and this seat is adjustable, so I can slide it back. So I do have more legroom there, uh, and then it also depends on whether this seat is reclined. Right now, it is. There's a look through to the front, from the back seat or from the middle row seat. There's a look at your dash, the layout there, and in the center console. In the center console, there is a little bit of storage right there you do have vents for the second row passengers at the back of the center console and then also a USB for charging and then a 12 volt charger right there as well magazine holders and are behind both seats the two-tone continues here there's a door speaker right there two-tone on this side as well and these seats are a 60 40 split so they will fold flat independent of each other and they do also recline so if you decided you wanted to recline a seat or fold it, you just pull this little lever right here and the seat will go back as a recline or you pull it forward and it folds down and clicks into place. Those two seats there have buttons right there where you fold them down and then fold them flat. So let's take a look at the back. As I said before, this is a manual lift gate, but the hydraulics will take over and it'll lift up for you. So it's still easy open. Uh, for this little seat here to fold down you just fold that there and then this one here you just fold down as well so there is a look with two the two uh, third row seats folded down and then also a middle row seat folded down so this car is highly versatile in the fact that you can fold down any combination of seats there to fold down the center one and keep the two middle ones up uh, you can also fold down uh, the back two uh, and maybe half of the middle row as well so you can alternate sides as well your seat pulls over here so you can actually pull on this guy here and it will make that seat pitch forward and then you fold it down and lock it in place same with this side seat belt clips back here to keep your seat belts uh, out of the way if you have cargo and then also there's a 12 volt charger port right there this one comes with a first aid kit they all have this hidden bag hook right here and room for a cargo cover that would just go into that little indentation there and back here as well this one doesn't have that but you do also have a spare cargo net with this one here and then if you just lift up the floor here this is where your cargo cover would be if your car has one there's your spare as well and all your jack tools are right there so space wise this car does have quite a bit of space it's 10.6 inches larger than the previous Tiguan so there's quite a bit of cargo space in the back here chrome exhaust tips at the bottom and there's a handle up here to just grab the close to the hatch so there's a look at the exhaust tips on the back I personally like this red color it's cardinal red for those in st. Louis that's not going to be the fire engine red that's going to be cardinal red like Stanford so 
If you're interested in this car, it does have a six year, 72,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it. Also, we're gonna give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile engine and powertrain warranty. And then if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, you'll get a, a uh, three years of free maintenance. That's your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile service, all handled by us at the dealership. That's a, ten, uh, a, a 12 point inspection. Also, a uh, 10,000 mile oil change and a tire rotation. All of a sudden, I'm tongue tied today, guys. If you're interested in this car, give me a call, 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257, or on Facebook at Resells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.